into the mix and then change up my videos just for a second. I wanted to do a discussion style. I don't do this. I just was driving home from work today and it was a very long drive and I couldn't stop thinking about my breakup and I know that's weird because it's been a good two years ago but I was just thinking like that was one of the best decisions that could have been made at the time and even though breakups suck and they really do and I really miss my ex I don't miss him as more than a friend that makes sense um but I just wanted to talk to you guys because I have so many friends that are in relationships that are so extremely toxic and also friends that are afraid of breaking up because they're afraid of being single or maybe they just broke up and now they're just terrified so I just wanted to make like a discussion style video kind of telling you about my experience and reasons why you should and shouldn't break up because there are a lot of crazy people out there that think oh the grass is always greener on the other side I have like a boyfriend and I really like him or I have this husband and I like him but what if there's something else out there for me? You guys need to stop. That logic is awful. I just, I want to slap you. I know none of you probably watching this are like that, but if you know someone like that, you should want to slap some sense into them because that's not how life works. My motto is, if it's not broken, don't go buy a new one. Literally, that's my motto. So for my experience, I was in a very long-term relationship we were at eight and a half years and um, he was finally ready to propose and I was finally like, Brittany, it's time to go. You might think I'm crazy for that, but it's so weird how when it finally came to things getting like the ultimate seriousness of getting married, I was immediately like, let me actually evaluate where we are and like where we're going to go and that was nowhere. <laughs> we met in high school and we just dated from there. It's funny how like in high school, I mean you don't really think of oh this is gonna be my future husband. It's more of oh this is my boyfriend now because everyone has boyfriends. Let's get a boyfriend. Like stupid logic like that. And I was the type of person that I mean once I don't know like I feel like I just stick with something even when I'm not so happy and that's something that I've changed recently like in the past couple years I did a 180 on my life and like how I think of things and a lot of it had to do with like getting sick and learning to like listen to myself and stand up for me for once so we just weren't compatible that's down to the bottom it was we were different people I wasn't gonna make him happy and I knew he wasn't making me happy and that's something where if I were if he were to make me happy that would in turn make him unhappy does that make sense we just like either way one of us was going to be losing so he told me that he wanted to buy me a wedding ring and I told him I don't think then I'm in love with you anymore and that like was the hardest conversation to ever have with someone and a lot of people are afraid of having those conversations because they don't want to hurt the other person but when you think of it when the things come out and you tell them how you really feel most of the time it's coming from a fight and those words come from a place of anger and you don't communicate them the way that you should and they in turn don't take it the way that they would had you said it in like a calm and I don't know get your thoughts in because when you're having a fight you're not thinking at all you're just blurting stuff out and it's gonna come from a place of hate and instead like when you have that conversation if you ever have a conversation of this needs to change or I don't think this is gonna work, you really need to try your best to do it in a like adult 
let's sit down and talk this out kind of way. And I know that's like, it's easier said than done. But I mean, you can prep yourself. It's, it. I mean, if you want to rehearse stuff, do it. I know this is going to be a little lame, but you can also write a letter. I know for me personally, I get things out so much better when I'm writing letters and writing stuff down. I can say things in a way that I would want to because you can re-read it and be like, does this sound okay? Does this not? And then after they read the letter, have a conversation then because you got everything out and they can come with questions. Honestly, I'm talking myself into letter writing now. Not that I need to because I'm single as heck. Um, but future reference, maybe Brittany, you should do that. I don't know. Side note, I definitely did that with my last roommate telling her I was moving out. Like she didn't, like she was super cool, but I still like, I knew that I wouldn't be able to get through the conversation without crying because I love her. But I needed to do it for myself and like what was better for me. I will tell you though, um, because this is something people say like, oh, I have too much going on. Like we're too what is the word I'm looking for already like settle down like we have a house together we have pets together some of you may have kids together which is another talking point but and that stopped me for years like I knew I want to say uh, for uh, probably at least a year before I finally told him how I was feeling that it wasn't going to work out between us and maybe I let it get too far maybe he even let it get too far because honestly at the end like he was done too and I mean, that's where I wanted him to be. Like, we had talked enough for him to just, I mean, he was over it at that point. But, but we had a dog together and a cat. Um, you guys know Chester. Some of you, like, that have been with me for a while know that I had a dog named Moose. That was awful. Um, I still, I see, I still get upset about it. Like, and it's, it's gonna happen. Like, you're gonna lose things in your separation, your breakup, your divorce. But long term, you have to think like this is better for both of you because he's gonna, he or she, whoever it is, for me it was a he, um, he's gonna move on and to hopefully if he's picky and like knows what he wants at this point to someone that is better for him and I'm gonna move on to someone that long term makes me happier. And even though you love your animals, they will in time forget you. I I think, I hope, I hope Moose forgets. I miss him. I won't ever forget him, but see, I'm going to cry again. I wasn't financially stable either. So when we broke up, like he kept the apartment. We didn't own a house together. We almost did. Um, he kept the apartment and I moved back to my parents because I decided to do instead of like take on a awful financial burden of like getting my own apartment and everything um they had me come back and I'm doing grad finishing grad school I'll be done in December uh until December and not have a job because I don't have to pay rent here and I can just do school and don't have to worry about like paying for like a $700 apartment or whatever so there are going to be struggles because a lot of you aren't going to have that backup like where I had my parents. You can always find roommates though. I see people posting all the time on Facebook looking for new roommates. I don't suggest Craigslist, but I do have friends that have found their roommates off of Craigslist. When it comes to kids though, that's such a big issue and I understand where you're coming from of people saying like, I don't want to break up because of the kids. I will tell you... It is so much more psychologically damaging to watch like your parents grow up in a toxic relationship than it is for your parents to get divorced and move on to healthy relationships so that the kids can see the healthy relationships forming. Now some of you may not show that you're unhappy in front of your kids and in that case like meh, you know it's probably fine if they don't know. I, kids are so freaking smart though they pick up on the tiniest things that you would never think of so just remember that when you're talking about like not wanting to because of kids that you staying in it could still damage them psychologically and emotionally I'm just throwing that out there my parents got divorced when I was two I don't remember it I was fine I grew up thinking step parents were normal didn't know anyone else didn't have them I had a lot of friends who'd have step parents, but I mean, it was it was my norm. Uh, 
And I do want to throw out here that I am not promoting you to break up with your significant other by any means. I'm just promoting the fact that if you are already in a bad situation, evaluate what is going wrong and is it fixable. If it's fixable, oh my goodness, by every means, try to fix it. Have a sit down talk, like I said earlier, and tell them exactly what your main problems are. Like what's making you unhappy? And then asking them like, is this something that can be fixed? If it's petty, you gotta stop being petty. I mean, I he leaves the toilet seat up. That's petty. I don't like that. But that is not a reason to break up with someone. If he cheats on you and your trust is gone, that's a reason to break up. For me, trusting them and then them being honest with me is like my top priorities in relationships. And you're gonna mess with me on one of them. I'm not happy. That's a uh, PS. That's not why my ex and I broke up. We literally just weren't right for each other. He wanted this thing and I could never be that. And how I was, like the stuff he would do, it... This isn't a bashing him because I love him as a friend. I miss him so much. I hope that he's happy. I hope that he wants me to be happy. I, I, I know he does and I know he knows that I do. So like I said, if it's something that can be fixed with you or him, because he's going to probably or she's going to probably give you a list of things that isn't making him or her happy. And you can say like internally, I can do this. I can do that. I can't do that. Is that going to be a deal breaker? And just be as mature and calm as you can when you have that conversation because yelling is going to get you nowhere. If anything, it's just going to cause a really big blow up that is everything is going, nothing's going to get worked out. For you people that are already single because either you weren't what she wanted, you weren't what he wanted, you, they weren't what you wanted. It's okay to be single. I promise you. You know what? We have the best situation here because every relationship is a new learning experience. And I personally feel like I can meet someone and in like the least, that's not the right way to say this, not like judging them at all, but like I have a list of priorities, which is very small, um, trustworthy and honest. I, I need someone like for me, communication is like essential and I'm at a place where I am ridiculously blunt and sometimes that can get me in a bad situation, but I really just want to talk stuff out and I need someone like that because I can't have someone shutting down and just like keeping secrets from me and not, I mean, I don't like when people tell me what I want to hear. Like I want them to be honest and that's just big for me. And also someone that's like, okay with me being a total weirdo. And I also want them to be a little bit of weirdo. There's, just, I mean, there's things I know I'm looking for, but I'm not being like, oh, I have to have, he has to be five foot nine and above. He has to have brown hair. He has to be <laughs> this buff. I don't, whatever. That's not my list. I promise you. Actually, if you want to be honest, I'm having an issue with what's too old and what's too young. That's my current dilemma right now because I'm having, like, when you have people telling you on the side, like, I don't know, I just feel like my view of, like, what's okay age-wise is very skewed and I can't leave in the comments below. I need advice. What do you think? I'm 27. What would you say is appropriate age for me to date? If this, you know what, that's probably going to make things worse, but do it anyways. I just want to hear <laughs> what your thoughts are. This also video is not about like, this is why you should be, everyone should be a single. But to have a break of just being able to do whatever you want and only have yourself to kind of like check in with, you know? I mean, that's not like a green light for you to go crazy and turn into this crazy animal but it is a green light for you to do something that maybe you couldn't in your last relationship for whatever reason. Maybe your ex was controlling. I don't... That is toxic. Controlling. Really this like... And I know this is so cliche, but like you learn a lot about what your needs are once you're single. Like yeah, while you're in the relationship, you're like, 
hmm, I'm not getting this, maybe that's something I should look for in the future, but like once you're single, you have so much time and it feels okay to actually be like, what am I looking for? I don't know. I, I could ramble on and on and on. So if you have like, I, I'm not an expert uh, by any means at all. But I think this discussion can go on for it. So if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure, like, I have the best subscribers. And they will probably answer any questions you have. And I can, if I can answer it, I will. Just like, I'm sure if you can answer something, you will for them too. So, I don't know. I don't know if discussion videos are, like, really my thing. I don't know what other, dis I have, I'm sure, a lot of topics because I like to talk that I could do in the future. So if you have any other like topics we should talk about, put it in the comments below and we will work through them. I try to put some therapy into some of them. Although I can't offer therapy online, so legally I can't do that. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff to talk about. I know I didn't hit everything. I know I'm forgetting a ton of stuff and when I'm editing I'm like, why didn't you say that? So Take the pieces you can and throw away what you can't. I love you guys. I hope that you guys are having an awesome end of April, early May. It's gonna go to summer soon, at least here in the US. And I will see you guys super soon in another video, maybe a haul, maybe a makeup tutorial. I don't know. Okay, bye. Do you get it now? I'm saying goodbye.